Mr. Speaker, Gusi language is one. The uh, interpretation that was given made me understand I didn't see any contradiction Very well. and I wasn't misguided. Thank you. Proceed with your witness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, Mr. Hagai, do you have any personal interest? I'm not sure whether I can be heard, Mr. Speaker, sir. My only power the council's uh, microphone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Agai, I still feel it's quite low. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, Mr. Witness, do you have any personal or ulterior interest in these proceedings? No. You do not. Have you been coerced, influenced, or persuaded to take a certain stand towards the deployment of the officers that you are alleging were deployed on 20th of December? Not at all. You have not. When did you receive the summons from Senate? I received the summons yesterday. What mode? They were served to me. How were you served? Uh, by the serve of the court. He called me. All right. And when did you travel from Kisi to Nairobi? I traveled tonight. Thank you. Uh, you have told the senators that the information about the deployment of the 20 officers came to your knowledge on 29th of February 2024. The event itself... Sorry, 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 sorry counsel. Yes. Uh, there's a, an initial question that you have not understood too clearly. Yes. A little bit about uh, the traveling. Traveling from where I'm staying or from Kisi? To Senate. The from Senate wherever you are to the Senate. I travel today morning. Today morning. From where, from where I, I reside. Thank you. You have indicated that the information about the deployment of the 20 officers to the deputy governor's home to arrest his brother came to your knowledge on 29th of February 2024. Yes. Correct? Yes. The event itself took place on 20th of December 2023. Yes. Two months apart. Correct. Now, as the head of this department, how is it that 20 officers would be deployed, taken from your department to a private uh, assignment without your knowledge? Doesn't that mean that you are ineptitude, but you are not in charge of this department? No, not at all. Um, you see, this is an occurrence which is happening at the home of the deputy governor. And uh, I'm learning it at the assembly when the motion is being tabled. And uh, that is the, time, the first time I'm hearing about it. And I, as I said earlier, this is unusual because all operations of enforcement need to be reported to my office. And that's why I tasked my deputy to investigate this incident report to me. And in the report the, the deputy gave me, he said, the reason why the sub-county administrator and the sub-county commander did not report is not very clear. And we have initiated disciplinary procedures against those officers. So is it an issue of lack of diligence or competence from your part, or there was deliberate effort to conceal that uh, occurrence? I believe there could be deliberate effort to block us from getting the information. Uh, thank you. You have also indicated that you've conducted preliminary investigations and there is a preliminary report to that effect. Yes. Are you able to tell the Honorable House the names of the four officers that you're claiming are assigned at the Deputy Governor's Office doing odd jobs? What are their names? Uh, I can confirm that the four officers are there and these officers work in, term, in, uh, in, uh, in, in a regular basis. After two weeks, they are being replaced and they, they are deployed from... Uh, are you able to tell us the names of those officers? Yes. Kindly, go ahead. All of them? The four officers? I have said the, the sub-county has uh, 22 enforcement officers. And uh, the due process is being done after a, team, uh, a period of two or one, one or two weeks. So they keep on so, protecting. So are you able to tell the names or you're not able to? For now, I can't because the investigation is underway. And the 20 officers, are you able to identify, apart from the commander, yes. are you able to identify the 20? Yes, yes. Are you able to supply the names? Yes. Are you able to supply the names now? 
then now I, because they're not typed. They're not typed, but you have the names. I have the names. Thank you. That's all for this witness, Mr. Speaker, sir. Counsel for the Deputy Governor, your witness. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, a preliminary issue. We've not been served with this report that is being referred to by this witness. If we can get a copy. Counsel for the County Assembly, can you make available the copy of the report you're referring to? Yes, sir. 